Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's conversation with the Open Group, the newest members of the Open Source Partners community. I'm delighted today to be joined uh, by Andres Salkal and David Dietrich, who are here from the Open Group uh, to have a chat about uh, their group, their mission, uh, and their partnership uh, as part of the GitLab Open Source Partners community. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves briefly, and then we'll talk to them a little bit about uh, who the Open Group is and, and what the Open Group's mission is. So, um, Andres, I'll start with you. Yeah, well, my name is Andras Sakal. I am the uh, Vice President and CTO and uh, the operations and uh, 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 of the Open Group uh, IT environment reports up to me. And I also have responsibility for things like partnerships and um, I lead our open professions uh, work. So uh, that's me. Cool. And I'm David Dietrich. I um, am the administrator for our uh, self-hosted GitLab server, and I help the members leverage GitLab to get as much value as they can out of it for their open source projects. Great, great. Well, it's a, it, just great to have you both on the call, and I really thank you for making the time today. Let's start at the very beginning uh, for, for viewers who may be hearing about the open group for the first time. What, who is the Open Group and what's your mission? What are you all about? Yeah, I mean, you know, after you crawl out from under a rock, <laughs> because <laughs> the Open Group has been around for uh, 30 plus years and uh, we are a global consortia uh, that enables the achievement of business objectives uh, through technology standards. Okay. Um, and we have uh, membership of more than 900 organizations. So those are companies or groups of individuals. Um, and we focus on end users and solution suppliers and tooling vendors, integrators, academia. We have a research division that actually reports up through us. Uh, me and um, and consultants and and we're very focused on industry verticals because there's a lot of work to do digital transformation oh digital transformation that's another area where we're most certainly involved with um, yeah go check out our website opengroup.org and learn a little more great yeah well you've been uh, doing what you're doing for about 30 years how long have uh, you been using GitLab part of your work. Yeah, I mean, you know, you might you might have recognized the open group because of Unix. That's, you know, mm -hmm. the probably one of the most popular standards uh, and uh, TOGEF, TOGEF also with the architecture uh, methodology and framework. Um, so uh, I actually, before joining the open group as a staff member, was a member through uh, one of our platinum sponsors, IBM. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was uh, one of the executive leaders of our architect profession. And I really got involved in the open group because of our work in architecture and standards. And uh, we we began over a number of years to focus on the transition of just, you know, focusing on kind of paper-based standards, you know, mm -hmm. that you, then you would go and interpret and imp implement, right? So I eventually became a, a board member and, and actually uh, the, the uh, chairperson uh, of the uh, board of governing board. And, um, at that time, we decided that we really needed to make sure that all of our standards were grounded in, you know, some sort of implementation in software. Mm. And we call that our executable standards initiative. And uh, as a result, um, you know, we began to look for the environment and, and platforms uh, to be able to support that. And we found GitLab. Uh, to actually fill the need of several different areas for us to be able to support, uh, you know, standards as software, uh, executable standards, uh, and the development of standards themselves, as, as Dave will speak to uh, in a few seconds. So we've been using it for about five years, um, and, and that was kind of the evolution is kind of we, we came into this, you know, kind of from more of a traditional standards approach into the open source, you know, software development kind of approach. Um, and that's, that's how we ended up with uh, GitLab. 
Oh, fascinating. Thanks for that. Well, let's let's dive a little deeper into that so we can hear from David too. You know, sure. why why you know why choose GitLab? Andras just mentioned mentioned that um, you know there were a number of a uh, number of challenges it, it helped you overcome. I'd love to hear more about sort of your rationale there. Yeah. So one of the things we really liked was the integration of the CI and the issues boards kind of pulling everything together into one tool was very useful. And your CI system was very flexible on being able to set up a bunch of scalable runners. Because okay. this open source project that we were trying to, to kick things off with has a lot of CI needs. It needs a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of computation time. So we need to span it across a lot. Mm -hmm. And I, I really liked the way the runner setup worked with GitLab. So that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. They also wanted a lot of analysis tools, some like static analysis, dependency analysis, things like that. And all of that stuff came right out of the box with GitLab. There wasn't a bunch of finding other tools, figuring out how to integrate. Everything just kind of worked together. It made a very nice dashboard that they could look at and see all of their stuff. And everybody really liked that as part of the development there. Cool. So great. Well, it's great to hear that our single platform approach really worked for you all. What did what kinds of things did it did it help you accomplish when you were able to put those things in motion? What what were you able to achieve? Yeah, I, I mean, I well, first off, I I think it's a journey. Uh, you know, open source development and the integration of standardization and this idea of digital transformation is all kind of evolving, and we're using GitLab at the core. And Dave will like, kind of jump into that here in a second. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I'd like to highlight is that. Um, you know, from an industry digital transformation point of view, uh, the energy um, community really needed a way to create a, a, a data platform that allowed them to monetize data. So, hmm. for example, oil companies or energy companies would do exploration. They would have a mountain of data. Some of it would be useful to them and some of it would not. And then they would like to make that data fungible, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the one thing that, that they were looking to do is actually create a single unified open source implementation, um, you know, standards-based technology agnostic data platform um, for their community that simulated, you know, stimulates the innovation and partnership because, you know, this is a siloed industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they wanted to break those borders down, especially now that alternative industry and carbon footprint is very, you know, uh, important mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, globally. Um, and they wanted to actually digitally transform that environment. And they're using this data platform that they're implementing in the open group under this initiative called Open Subsurface Data Universe mm -hmm. to achieve that our open standards and the use of GitLab was key to that. Yeah, yeah, sounds like it. Cool, that's a neat, that's a neat example. And David, mm -hmm. you had another one, Andres? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so the OSD data platform certainly our largest, but uh, we also have another initiative. It's uh, our, what we call our digital portfolio of standards. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of standards documents and we're trying to bring them together into a single repository so that they can cross-reference each other well. I see. Yeah. But they have different groups that have to work on different parts of them and evolve them separately. And then we want to make sure everybody's had a chance to review it and go through approval processes. And so we've been able to make that happen using GitLab with um, forks and branches, the merge requests, the approval flows. There's a fairly sophisticated approval flow that you can put on a, a merge request in GitLab. So we've been able to leverage that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So I'm hearing, I'm hearing CICD, I'm hearing forks branches, I'm hearing approval yep. workflows. Well, any, any other features of GitLab that you've adopted that have helped, in, you know, improve your workflow and made your life easier? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're right. Yeah. DevOps philosophy is actually all throughout GitLab. That's definitely true. The mm -hmm. GitLab pages server is very useful to us. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the output of that digital portfolio is a static HTML okay. uh, page. So after it compiles, it creates that. We need a way to host that mm -hmm. and not just host it once, but host it on different branches, on different um, 
different forks, all that stuff. And all that stuff is configured by pages. We don't have to have an IT yeah. professional setting up multiple web servers and controlling access. Cool. So, so that's been very useful, very convenient. Great, glad to hear it. And integration with other tools like AHA. I mean, you know, we're always looking for, you know, integration with that and Slack and, you know, just the flexibility of GitLab to, to actually be the core engine for, you know, managing our source, our DevOps pipeline, but then integrating with all the other tools that we got to use. That's really, you know, key. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what's on the horizon for you all? I mean, you've got obviously a ton of large scale projects in flight. You're doing uh, a lot of significant impactful work. What's coming up? What's on the horizon? Well, we're continuing to, uh, you know, see a significant amount of interest in industry digital transformation. Um, part of this is uh, avionics, defense base. So, uh, through our face consortia and others, they're they're continuing to get into the open source implementation, all the way from the API down into uh, core components. Uh, uh, we see that, you know, standards as software um, and standardization is really going to kind of be very blurry and GitLab will continue to be an important element of that. We're going to expand our open source um, support for the individual and uh, community within the open group. So allowing for individuals to create open source projects or, or facilitate, I should say, facilitate the implementation of open source projects uh, by our greater membership, we think is really important so that it sparks that innovation and spawns new ideas and creates new innovation. And um, yeah, and that's a big part of it. Uh, Dave, what about what about what we're doing with Antora? Yeah, the Antora, that is the uh, digital portfolio. Uh, the tool that we use for that. So that takes an ASCII doc source input mm -hmm. and that translates that over into a static HTML. But that makes it sound very simple, but it's actually fairly complicated that it can, it can pull in multiple tags and branches from multiple repos and assemble them together into a single output, um, which which makes it a fairly powerful tool for us. We've, we really liked that and the yeah. evolution of it. Cool. Yeah, it sounds great. I'm gonna to want to play with that. I'm gonna get that link from you after the <laughs> after the interview. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, well, thanks for that. Uh, and best of luck with it all. What's the best way for you know anyone interested in your mission, your vision, uh, the work that you're doing? What's the best way for them to connect with you and collaborate with you? And 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 get involved. Yeah. So there's yes. lots of ways that people can get involved. Um, you don't necessarily have to be a member of the open group. Everything we do is open. All of our standards are available to anybody and published on through our, uh, you know, what we call the open group uh, shop or store. And you can download all of our standards. You can get involved in, for example, the OSDU and other open source communities uh, that are hosted out of the open group and can contribute code and be a contributor. Um, and an easy way to start is just go to www.opengroup.org. Um, you can sign up and get involved. Fantastic. All right. Well, thanks to you both very much for making the time today to talk to me and to talk to our community. Uh, and especially thanks for all the great work uh, you're doing for open source and open standards. I know everybody watching the video appreciates it. Well, I mean, you know, we should say thank you to GitLab too, because uh, this has been an easy, uh, hugely supportive partnership uh, that we have benefited greatly from. And uh, uh, it's, uh, there isn't a day that goes by where we don't say, you know, uh, you know, thank our lucky stars that we're a partner of GitLab. Well, it's, it's our pleasure. Uh, always happy to support uh, folks doing great work for open source like you all. Uh, if you want to learn more about the open group, be sure to follow Andres' uh, instructions there. I will say thank you once again, and we'll see you next time, everyone. Gentlemen, thanks again. Thank you.